delicious homemade mutton yakni pulao with almond sprinkle and parsley, iftar and Ramadan special, easy and affordable recipe for beginners. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak. Welcome back to our multi recipes and cookeries channel kitchen. Today, we have a special treat for you, a mouthwatering dish that's perfect for iftar during the blessed month of Ramadan. We're going to make homemade mutton yakni pulao with a delightful almond sprinkle and a garnish of fresh parsley. So, let's start it. Before we begin, let's quickly go through the ingredients you'll need. Ingredients For yakni, broth 500 grams mutton pieces, with bones for extra flavor. One large onion, sliced. 2 to 3 garlic cloves, minced. 1 inch piece of ginger, sliced. 2 to 3 green cardamom pods. 2 to 3 cloves. 1 inch piece of cinnamon stick. 1 bay leaf. Salt to taste. Water. For pulao. 2 cups basmati rice, soaked for 30 minutes. 2 tablespoons ghee or oil. 1 large onion, thinly sliced. 1 teaspoon cumin seeds. 2 to 3 green chilies, slit. 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste. 1 teaspoon Kashmiri red chili powder. 1 teaspoon turmeric powder. Salt to taste. 2 cups mutton yakni, broth. Almond flakes for garnish. Fresh parsley for garnish. Now that we have all our ingredients, let's get cooking. Step 1, making the yakni, broth. 1. In a large pot, add the mutton pieces, sliced onion, minced garlic, ginger slices, whole spices, green cardamom pods, cloves, cinnamon stick, bay leaf, and salt to taste. 2. Cover the ingredients with water, ensuring there's enough water to cover the mutton completely. 3. Bring the pot to a boil, then reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for about 1.5 to 2 hours, until the mutton is tender and the broth is flavorful. 4. Once the yakni is ready, strain it using a fine mesh strainer or cheesecloth, separating the broth from the mutton and whole spices. Set aside both the broth and mutton for later use. Step 2. Cooking the pulao. 1. In a separate pot, heat ghee or oil over medium heat. Add the thinly sliced onions and sauté until golden brown and caramelized. 2. Add cumin seeds and green chilies to the pot, sauté for a minute until fragrant. 3. Next, add ginger garlic paste and sauté for another minute until the raw smell disappears. 4. Now, add the Kashmiri red chili powder turmeric powder, and salt to taste. Mix well to combine all the spices. 5. Add the soaked basmati rice to the pot and gently mix it with the spices and onions, ensuring the rice is well coated. 6. Pour in the strained mutton yakni, broth, we prepared earlier. For every cup of rice, use 2 cups of yakni. Adjust the salt if necessary. 7. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat to low, cover the pot with a tight-fitting lid, and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, or until the rice is cooked and all the liquid is absorbed. 8. Once the pulao is cooked, fluff it gently with a fork to separate the grains. Step 3. Serving the Mutton Yakni Pulao Now that our delicious Mutton Yakni Pulao is ready, let's plate it up. 1. Transfer the pulao to a serving dish, ensuring to layer it with tender pieces of mutton from the yakni. 2. Sprinkle almond flakes generously over the pulao for that extra crunch and nutty flavor. 3. Finally, garnish with freshly chopped parsley to add a pop of color and freshness. And there you have it, a beautiful and aromatic mutton yakni pulao that's perfect for iftar or any special occasion during Ramadan. Ingredients and preparations methods are in the description box. Thank you for joining me today in the kitchen. 
I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this delicious dish. Remember, cooking during Ramadan is not just about feeding the body but also feeding the soul with love and generosity. Until next time, Ramadan Kareem and happy cooking. If you enjoy this recipe please subscribe our multi recipes and cookeries channel. Thank you very much mutton yakni pulao lovers.